18 years ago, John Walker Lynn, or the man known as the American Taliban, made national news. Lynn was arrested in Afghanistan for supporting the Taliban after the 9-11 attacks. He pleaded guilty to supporting the Taliban, and he claimed during the time of his sentencing that if he knew what he found out about the Taliban, he would have never joined. Today, Lynn was released from the Terre Haute Federal Prison. Sadie All tells us that despite his claims against the Taliban, many are still concerned that he now joins the rest of society. Sadie. Mike, good behavior cut three years off Lynn's 20-year sentence. One expert our D.C. Bureau talked with today says Lynn was the poster child of American terrorists. He was one of the first to be arrested and to be released. But there are more like him that will also soon join society. The Terre Haute Federal Prison released a statement giving some background information on the release of terrorist suspects. It claims that the prison monitors communications of inmates with ties to foreign terror. That information is shared with law enforcement as appropriate. They also encourage pro-social values to reduce the risk of criminal behavior. The statement goes on to say the BOP identifies new programs and approaches to curb terrorist mindsets. However, Bennett Clifford, a research fellow on extremism at George Washington University, says the BOP's timing looking into such programs is a little too late. Already people are starting to be released from prison and we're sort of catching up to the idea of installing uh, programs, a top-down strategy for uh, countering recidivism now. Clifford says those programs should be implemented during the entire duration of the prison sentence. He also says that Lind was the poster child for the first high-profile case of American terror and he's one of the first to be released from prison. By 2023, so five years from now, um, there will be about uh, 100 individuals who have been convicted for extremist related activities who will be released from the federal prison system. Clifford says at any given time there are about three to 500 extremist offenders in federal custody and that the resources to curb extremist mindsets aren't always allocated appropriately. There's not really an architecture in place in the federal prison system to either reintegrate, uh, de-radicalize or rehabilitate uh, terrorist offenders. AP reports that President Trump says Lind will be watched closely and that he asked his lawyers if there was anything they could do to block Lind's release today, but was told, quote, from a legal standpoint, there's nothing we're allowed to do. Trump also said Lind, quote, has not given up his proclamation of terror and that, quote, I don't like it at all.